Even though Scratch is a simple programming language designed for kids, that hasn't stopped coding enthusiasts from creating astounding projects. From a 2D recreation of Minecraft to a neural network powered chess engine, multiple actually, Scratch has seen some technical masterpieces. But what limits these impressive endeavors? Is it the difficulty of scaling in a block-based coding environment? Or maybe a lack of advanced tools? Surprisingly, it's actually something much simpler, a size limit. Scratch products are actually just .zip files, and when extracted, they reveal the different components that make up the project. These include various costumes, sounds, and most importantly, a file called project.json. This file includes information on how Scratch should actually build the project. Things like block placement, variable and list info, and more are all stored here. You can probably guess that this file is crucial, and interestingly enough, this is where Scratch enforces one of its only limits on project size. A 5 megabyte cap for the entire project.json, and technically there's also a 10 megabyte limit per asset, but that's rarely a constraint. This becomes a major problem for large projects with around 20 to 30,000 blocks, as they quickly approach the 5 megabyte cap. And once they do, Scratch refuses to save them. Creators are left stuck, unable to continue development. And how does this compare to other file limits? Well, on average, sprites, sounds, and other assets take up the majority of a project storage. Take this one for example. Project.json takes up less than half of the total space. And here's a shocking part. The absolute maximum file size for an entire Scratch project, technically, is over 700 gigabytes. That's the equivalent of more than 100 DVDs. And you see, increasing the project.json limit from 5 megabytes to 10 or 20 or even more would have almost zero impact on Scratch's server load. But for many technical scratchers, it would be a game changer, allowing them to create even more mind-blowing projects that were previously impossible thanks to the limit. So, should Scratch increase this limit? This niche but critical limitation is holding back some of Scratch's most ambitious projects, and the fix is as simple as increasing a number. And given the massive storage capacity of Scratch's servers, there's very little reason not to. So the real question is, what should Scratch increase it to? 10 megabytes, 50 megabytes, even more? Let me know in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.